thought I'd uh, post a uh, comparison between Trepstar, or otherwise known as CD Fulfillment, and Kunaki.com. Uh, I've been using Kunaki.com for about three years and uh, haven't had any problems. It's been a really good service and a good price. But, uh, but as far as customer service, return discs, um, any kind of issues, you're out of luck. So if somebody moves and their address doesn't get forwarded and the, it, the disc gets returned, you basically have to eat the cost. Where I've just started to evaluate CD Fulfillment and uh, apparently they are, they are supposed to handle that and, and they have much better customer service. So it seems to be about a dollar more per disc in cost, but potentially based on the amount of orders you're filling, um, could be well worth the price. So as far as the comparison of the products, I ordered the exact same product. Um, they come in the same type of mailer, a bubble mailer. Uh, one nice thing about the CD fulfillment is they put the return label is identified as, as your production, where on the Kunaki return label, it's just generic. So uh, that's another positive for CD fulfillment. I, I have noticed over the years on the Kunaki prints, uh, they are high quality, but the, um, the print seems much darker. So I don't know if you can really tell, but it's just... For the CD fulfillment, the, the print is actually the way it's supposed to look if you print it normally. And that's been consistent with Kunaki. So it hasn't been bad, but it's definitely a shade too dark. And also on Kunaki, their uh, shrink wrapping, they have that traditional folded shrink wrap where um, the shrink wrap that's used with CD Fulfillment is the sealed, I guess the vacuum sealed, so it actually has, to me, a much better uh, feel for delivery because it just doesn't look as messy. And I'll go ahead and open these and we'll take a look at the inside. So looking on the inside, the uh, Kunaki print, uh, again, is darker. Still looks fine and passable, but I'd prefer it to be the way I designed it in Photoshop. So you can should be able to tell in the video. The cases I've I've noticed the CD fulfillment cases are are thicker. The Kanaki ones aren't bad, but they're definitely more flex, much more flexible. Where the CD fulfillment uh, Trepstar is much stiffer, and then the button is you know it is nice, a little eject looks the same on the Kanaki one, but it is definitely uh, stiffer, less travel, so it doesn't really secure as well, but it's it's still acceptable, but it's definitely not as nice as the button removal on CD Fulfillment or Trepstar. And then the insert, the print quality, for the Kunaki, it's just not as like it's black print, but here it has sort of a greenish color. I don't know if you can see it on the video, where on the CD fulfillment it's straight black and it has a little bit of a gloss, where the Kunaki one does not have gloss, it's more matte. So I would put the print quality just a slight bit better. It would be better if I had a color insert to make a true comparison, but I'm led to believe just on this basic black and white, the CD fulfillment is uh, slightly better. Also on the CD fulfillment, there's a some type of serial number. I don't know what that relates to, prob probably the project number. And it's a glossy print, so it's real glossy where the darker Kunaki disc is a matte type of print but overall the quality is you know much nicer as good or better than you would do in uh, in your own inkjet I would presume this is the Trepstar 
This is Kunaki. So here's a comparison of the back, the print quality again. Both of them are good, but uh, the Trepstar one on the right uh, print is exactly how I designed it. And Kunaki, as they've been for the past three years, is just a shade too dark. So that's been a consistent, I guess you'd say, issue, even though I've been very happy at this point, probably doing about a thousand individually uh, produced and mailed discs. So um, as far as the systems and when you try them out, uh, it seems like uh, Trepstar is about a dollar more per disc. Um, their online system requires you to upload your DVDs, you know, so you got a four gig DVD, you have to upload it to your own web space and then they draw it from there where I, I actually prefer Kunaki's system where they compile your project into their file and uploads to their server. But uh, but that does that that Kunaki process does take a long time. An average DVD probably takes 15 to 17 hours. Where if you have a web server that's uh, fast, you could upload it, send the URL to Trepstar, and that process might take a couple hours. So you just have to weigh how much web storage space and how many productions you're doing between the two. But that's my comparison.